You think there are memories on the other side of my heart? <laughs> kind of scary. <laughs> if you ask me, Vexen's waiting to trap us. I don't know about all that. Anyways, hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. In the last episode, we beat the shit out of Vexen after finishing up Hollow Bastion. But that leaves no more worlds left from Kingdom Hearts Original. Well, that's why at the end of the last episode it was revealed that we're going to go to a Kingdom Hearts 2 place. Indeed. It's called Twilight Town, baby. Wow, this would have answered so many questions had I... You know, played this before I played Kingdom Hearts 2. Wow. Well then. Here we go! Let's check it out. I'm wondering if this is actually going to be the last world. I would have guessed that it is, but let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. Please nobody confirm nor deny whether this is the last world. Just let it ride out. Let it ride out. Let the finale be a surprise. Anyways, Twilight Town. Cool! Didn't think we were going to see this town until we got to Kingdom Hearts 2, but I was wrong. Gorsh! Where are we, Sora? Hmm. Also, why would this be part of Sora's memories? Has he been here before? I don't know. Never been here. At least that far as you can remember. Huh? Me neither. That can't be right. Up until now, the only places we've been are from Sora's memory. See what I mean? Maybe so, but I definitely don't remember this. You might have forgotten this town just like the other stuff. Exactly. This is terrible. Our memories are practically gone. Wah, wah, wah. We'll be okay. See? Look at this. Nominate's good luck charm. Oh, wait. That, I think that might be goofy, but all right. There's a special memory that goes with this. One night, when Naminé and I were little, there was this meteor shower. Naminé started crying. She said, what if a shooting star hits the islands? So I said, if a shooting star comes this way, I'll hit it right back into outer space. I was swinging this toy sword around the whole time. Naminé just smiled and said, thanks, and then she gave me this. Sora, I'm so sorry. All this because of me. Namine said she had she had it ever since she was a baby. And she gave it to you? Ah Yeah, so I promised her from now on, I'll bring you good luck. I'll keep you safe. But then one day. Naminé left the islands, and I forgot all about her, or about her all this time. I really let her down. Huh. Well, if, it, if I didn't know what I already know about Kingdom Hearts 2, this part would make me go, what the hell, why would you add in another character for, like, no goddamn reason? Like, oh, a person they forgot about. That's one way to tack on a, tack onto a story that already exists. Make up a character that they forgot about. And do a story about memories and how they forgot about her. That's how you do a sequel. That's what I'm talking about. But if they had Kingdom Hearts 2 in the works and this was meant to be the bridge in between the two, then I guess it all makes sense. It's fine. I'm not yeah, critiquing yeah. in a negative way at all, I swear. Because Kingdom Hearts story makes all the sense. Anyway, my deck is actually the way I left it last episode. I didn't actually update it, so I have all these damn fire raids. Still ready to go. I don't know what kind of enemies we're going to encounter here. Clearly, we're fighting regular uh, bastards. Uh, whatever you want to call them. The regular little heartless bastards. Um, I forgot what they're called. I think they're just called shadows, right? Anyway, I have a lot of fire raids. Wow, I forgot how many I had. Jesus Christ. It really was the way to go against that guy. I mean, he was weak to fire, clearly. But anyway, that's cool. Just hit him normal. What am I doing? I don't even know why I'm bothering using, using all these... Uh, slides anyways. Like, what's the point? Anyway. Yes. We're going to kick this uh, place off with just showing all of it because, well, Take why not? This. Why am I even bothering? Why don't I just attack normal? Yes. You guys are hella normal. Why even bother using crazy stuff? Fire. 
It'll go faster if I just use normal. If I start blocking shit, then it'll be annoying, but I almost see no point in using the slides unless I absolutely need to. I mean, why waste all my cards? Until the enemies start... No, I was going to say, until there's a bunch of waves of enemies, never mind. As soon as I was going to ask, I shall receive, I suppose. Thunder, bitch! Oh, down to the heal cards, alright. Go ahead and just do a little bit of this action. Heal! And we'll get it in. We'll get into it. We'll get right back into it. We'll go ahead and use some slides on these guys since they're all bunched together, nice and nice and neato. Burrito. Mm, I could go for a burrito right about now for show. This is gonna be weird for me to. Uh, I shouldn't say weird, but this is gonna be bad for me to record on an empty stomach because I don't know how long this episode is gonna take for me to record all overall. And I'm hungry as a motherfucker, and I'm not gonna be able to eat until after this because I have already begun. We have not. I don't stop in the middle to eat foods. That's not how we roll around here. I got an air soldier card, guys, because I didn't get one of those back in, like, the first goddamn floor. Is there going to be, like, a shit ton of rooms in this floor? Um, well, actually, this isn't... This is, okay. Never mind. I was going to say this is going to be a big-ass floor, or a big-ass place, but no. It actually has less rooms than all the last few dungeons. Whatever. Floors, whatever you want to call them. So that's cool. Fire. I'm actually glad that's a thing. I'm, I'm very glad. Yeah. Fire. Very, very glad. That's how they say fire. Fire. It makes me feel more and more like this is probably the last place. So that's cool. It's good to know. Of course, we gotta find some more of these guys. I wonder if each room will have different enemies. Now that would make this even more interesting. Right? But I just keep on speculating. Yeah, we fight the same bitches. Dude, am I even hitting these guys with thunder? Like, they don't even react when they get hit, so how am I supposed to know? These are basically just harder versions of the enemies we already fought. Harder meaning they just take fucking forever to die. They just take fucking forever to die. I'm wondering if it would be faster if I put all my slights that do kick-ass moves back on, like, the Firaga... What was it called? Firaga Rain? I don't remember what it was called. I've only, I forgot... How did I forget what that move was called? It was so awesome. Firaga Awesomeness, that's what it was called. Firaga Burst, I think was it. Dude, just die. Bro, just die. Did more enemies just spawn? God damn, enemies. Go away. Firaga, bitch. I'm talking about Firaga. Eat some Firaga, bitch. Thunder Firag. Eat shit. That was, a, that was a pretty nice thunder spell. For real, though. Alright, let's get some cards back. Get right back into it. Quiet bastard. Oh, I really should put some more attack cards or something in my deck. I have a bunch of space. My CP is not even all being used up right now because I was just being lazy. I, I put all the slights I felt like putting in for the boss battle, and then I just left it not even full of cards. It worked out. Hey, man, we beat Vexen in a timely manner once I switched my deck around a little bit, so I can't complain. Even though I had leftover CP, I couldn't complain. All right. More enemies. Ah, God, they're everywhere. They're everywhere, man. Did I even hit one of them? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Back Doesn't off. matter. Get some. Alright, that works. Fire. Flying faster. Oh yeah, burn, bitch. Burn, Fire. baby. Burn. <sighs> Am I really gonna show every battle in this place? I, I kinda want to, but damn, if they take as long as these battles have taken, I am less inclined to do so. These motherfuckers just take forever to die. Like, what HP these flying bastards have? So much HP. Alright, well, at least that one didn't have multiple waves. That's the other problem. Like, it's one thing if one wave of enemy takes a while to take out. Okay, fine. But then it's like, you gotta start fighting more waves and more waves, and then it becomes wave after wave. Drifting away. Wave after wave. Slowly drifting. Oh, yeah. Hit the one guy who's facing the wrong way from all the other guys. Awesome throw. Awesome throw, Sora. You are the best. All them dudes, you don't even know how to aim. Come on, bro. Come on, dude, bro. There you go. That's what I like to see. That was a nice one. That was a sweet fucking Viraga throw, baby. Fire raid for the ages. That one will be remembered by all. All the noobs. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. Break that. Oh, no. Break that? No. Don't break that. All right. Hey, don't break that. Not allowed. 
<sighs> break that, shh, shh, break Back that. Off. You don't wanna break that, break that, fake that, Fire. fake that. Get burned out the sky, motherfucker. Break that, fake Back that, break that, break that, break that. You don't wanna know the motherfucker. Break that, break that, break that, make that. You don't wanna know the motherfucker. Alright, come on. Flying yeah. bastard. Of course there's gonna be more. There was only two. You're not gonna only have two Back enemies off. and say that's it. Are you crazy? That's es no bueno. Es no bueno. Give me that. Must get all experience. That I can't. Okay, throw it at the one guy who's underground. That's a brilliant idea. You're probably the best. I don't know, maybe ever. I mean, you're probably gonna go down as legend as probably the best ever. Like Kobe Bryant and shit, you know what I'm saying? Fuck Kobe Bryant, by the way. I don't know why I used him as an example. He was the first thing that came to mind. Fuck Kobe Bryant. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Kobe Bryant hater. If you couldn't tell by that response to an accidental Kobe Bryant reference. Whoops. But anyway, it's enough about Kobe fucking Bean Bryant. Fucking Kobe Bryant. So glad he's done. I've known Kobe for my entire life. Anyway. Why am I still why am I bitching about Kobe all the time? Let's talk about the playoffs. Playoffs? You wanna talk about playoffs? Yeah, seriously. Playoffs. They've been Overall disappointing, but you know what? There's been a few pretty good games here and there. You just gotta watch them. The ending to that Thunder and Spurs game the other day, fucking madness and hilarious and I don't know, just good stuff, all around good stuff. Shouldn't have went down the way that it did, but it went down the way that it did, so we get over it. Ah, flying bastard! Couldn't get away. Couldn't get away. Couldn't get him out of here. Run away now. Run away. Run away. Run away now. Run away. Run away. Run away now. Couldn't run a motherfucking way from that guy. He was chasing me like a fucking jack guy. I got no more rhymes. I'm not gonna try and do goddamn Red Hot Chili Peppers parody when I can't even think of shit that fast. It would just be me going, Hubba just shit up a him and him a ha ha. dabba dooba stoop dabba dee da. Best of rapper in the world. You don't want to me now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. I like you some red hot chili peppers. He's pretty sweet. It's good stuff. It's like a rap rock style fan. I'm a fan. Hello, hello. I don't remember all the words, but you know, it's good stuff. Fly away on my zipper. I feel it more than ever. And in this perfect weather, we'll find a place together. Uh, Alright, let's go in here. Now, if this room has different enemies, we'll show it. If it has the same shit, different day, we're gonna start cutting the rest of this dungeon down, I think. I mean, it's all gonna look like this. It's a freaking sunny twilight town. What more do you need? Um, yeah, let's make it a regular attack room just so we know what kind of enemies we have in store for us. Um, and actually, no, you know, we'll make it a treasure room. Screw it. Um, we'll make it the. Ooh. 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 Let's make it one of these ones with the fake treasure. With the real, real fake treasure. The real fake treasure. <laughs> I was going to make it the one where they're just being guarded by Heartless, but let's at least see what we got in store for us on this floor. And then, if, like I said, if it's the same shit, different room, we'll just move on. I'll, I'll meet you when I've cleared out the rooms. I'll meet you at the, you know, the story rooms. Ah! Uh, hit somebody. Oh, my God. I didn't hit nobody. All right. Same shit? Same shit. All right. We're probably going to just meet you somewhere then. Because this is... We really got to watch me fight these guys. They just take forever. Because they have so much HP. Yeah. I say fuck it. I'm going to at least clear out the room. And then maybe we'll decide where to go next. Mingling worlds? What the hell is that one? That's new. Um, before I worry about that, oh shit, there's a new slight. Okay, I was gonna actually think, can strongly consider putting max HP up, but you know what? There's a new slight, so let's start with that. Holy moly! Let's see what it requires. Mega Ether plus Mega Elixir plus Item Card. I don't have any Mega Elixirs. The hell? Well, hopefully we'll get one on this floor somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess that only leaves this one. Therefore, treasure! Warpinator? What the fuck is Warpinator? Eliminate the closest enemy, not always successful. Stop gravity arrow. So it's like, huh. 
Interesting. Well, I don't have stop still. I'm still waiting on a stop. Then again, I may have to go back down floors for that. But still. All right. So this makes this floor clear. Just making sure there's no Moogle P hiding in those pillars. Let us head this direction toward the next storyboard thing. We have to use a level 4 one. You know what? I'm going to be... Wait, 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 wait. Let me see where we are placement-wise. Is this a good spot for the save point? Actually, you know what? This is probably the best spot for a save point. Let's put a save point right here. Just so we have one. I'm not going to need it yet, but let's just put one. I'm just going to go ahead and just put it now. Put it now. Put it down. Put it loud. Play it loud. Play it safe. Proud. Am I going to use a Moogle room in this place? I should probably use a Moogle room in this place as well. Maybe I will. Anyway, this should be a nice, calm room. Let's see if we get any Moogle pee out of it. Uh-huh. Ooh. Ooh. I was like, for a second, I got excited. I thought maybe I got a Mega Elixir out of just chopping a pillar. Can't do... Holy, unless I get a Mega Elixir. And I can't do a lot of my new slides that I want to try without a stop spell. It's two things I'm currently missing. And that probably just means I have to go back. And uh, there's yeah. probably some floors where I'm missing the, you know, going into the treasure rooms. Because I have to go back to be able to do that. The key to rewards is going to be necessary for all the floors. You're supposed to get a treasure, right? Anyway, I think we're just going to go keep going this way, right? To get to the room I need to get to? Yeah. Wait, no. No, we're in the right. No, 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 we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We need one more room. Um, wait. Do I have a key to... No, I do not have a key to rewards. In fact, I'm going to make this the Moogle room. So we're just going to go... A room where anything could happen. Ooh, that's tempting, too. Oh, I don't have... Oh, I have a zero, though. We can use a zero. I was about to say, I don't have... I don't have the right number. That's why you saved the zero card. So you can use it whenever you like. You can use it whenever you like. Alright. So we're good in here. Let's get some stuff and then we'll see what kind of cards he gives me for free. And we'll sell some cards while we're at it. And at the very least in this episode, we can at least get the first storyline thing going on here, which is all I really wanted to make sure we get in the first episode here. Because as usual, these places take more than one episode. It's almost impossible to do one whole floor in one episode unless you just make it super long, or if I show no battles at all. Yeah. Neither of those things are going to happen today. Today's episode, I don't plan on recording the entirety of Twilight Town all in one recording. Unlike I did with Hollow Bastion, where I had the time and I felt like it. I recorded the whole Hollow Bastion in one go. I'm not going to do that here. I don't have the time, nor do I want to do that. Well, I guess I would kind of like to do that. But I feel like if I do that, we're going to be stuck going to the end of the game or whatever happens afterwards. Anyways, uh, we got a nice level 9 Divine Rose card that's a freaking premium. I guess it'd be cool for some combos, though. Nice level 9 Olympia card, though. In fact, I picked up one of those along the way. I have a couple of level 9 Olympia cards just waiting to be used now. All right, you know, let's sell that. I'm just going to sell all the Kingdom cards. I'm never going to use these motherfuckers again. The regular Kingdom keys, they're so weak sauce. What's, why even keep them, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so anything else low level? We can get rid of one of those. Get rid of one of those and one of those. Damn, we have six level six of these. We don't need six, or level five. We don't need six of them. I'll keep three. I'm not keeping six of them. Jesus. Oh, we, we can get rid of the low level Divine Rose card. We can get rid of these low level Crab Claws. Anything else low level? Um, these ones are premium, aren't they? I believe they are. Yeah, premium level nine. Jesus. Okay, um... I'm probably not going to use this. It's just a, it's a premium and it's level five. I'm probably never going to use it. Um, anything else low level that we won't use? We won't use that. I will not be using level three lightning. I probably will never use these level five lightnings. I'll sell one level six. I'm just trying to get as much Moogle P as I can right now. Because why not? Uh, all these extra gravities, we will definitely not need that many of them. I'm going to keep a few because I don't know what I what the future has in store for moi. Like for other combos that I may want to try someday, but for right now, I don't need some of this shit. Ooh, I still gotta try my new Mushu card and Tinkerbell. Although, what is, wait, what is, he breathes fire. See, I really want to try him, but I only have a level two. That's kind of lame. And Tink only does HP reheal, so it's like, eh, not even a big hurry to use her either. Anything else I want to sell? I'll keep the ice card, even if it's premium, just because I don't have a lot of ice cards that are reasonable. Reason reasonable to use, not yet, anyways. I wish I could get some more cure cards, man. That I like more cure cards that I actually like would be nice. 
It just occurred to me that the elixir card I picked up off the ground a minute ago was actually a regular level 7. That's pretty sweet. I did I saw that it was level 7, but it didn't register in my brain that we just got a level 7 goddamn elixir card, which means I'm probably going to put it in my deck. I got plenty of available CP at the moment, so hell yeah. Hell yeah to that. Alright, let's go ahead and trade some bitches in and get some card packs. 400! Oh, we better get something good out of this. All magic cards, they better be good. Uh, well, they are pretty good. I do wish I had a little a mega elixir out of that. The level 8 cloud is pretty sweet. That's like my highest level cloud card now. A level 0 lightning might be okay. The level 9 Mushu is amazing because I was just complaining how I only have a low level Mushu. And a level 3 Bambi, meh. Alright, let's go ahead and get the level 300, the 300 point one as well. Ooh, another Mushu, and a high tink, and a 9 fire, okay, and a 7 high, okay. That was a fantastic pack, oh my god. That could not have been any better, honestly. Those were two pretty damn good packs. I don't think I got anything in there I really want to sell, did I? Not really. Let me double check on that, but I don't think so. I got like a level 2 Tinkerbell or whatever, but I, I mean, like a premium. I got some premium summons that I don't care for, but you know, whatever. I got a, pr a level 3 Bambi that's premium. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of the premium Bambi. I'm never going to use that shit. Um, but otherwise, hell yeah, I got some high level Mushus. I got some another high, I got a high level Cloud that I didn't have before. Got an even higher ma uh, high potion. I think it's higher than the one I have equipped. Anyway, we'll have to do some deck switch swappage here pretty soon. Um, anyway, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's get the first storyline thing up going, up and going, eh? Shall we? Let's see what we got lying behind the key to the beginnings. Whoa! Card with a number higher than five. Okay, uh, we'll play that one. There you go. Card with a number lower than five. Alright, we'll go ahead and give you this one. Uh, the card, uh, you gotta give him a blue card. Alright, you can have... I have a shit ton of these calm bounty cards. I'm almost tempted to give one of these away. I have doubles of all these fives. Yeah, I have one of those. And we're good. Dang, man. It costs a lot to open these doors, but that's why we... That's why I didn't throw away all my map cards. I just threw away enough so I could start picking up a few more. But every battle gives us a new one, so... Anyway, where are we now? Yep, that's kind of where I thought we were going to head with this. This is part of Twilight Town, by the way. It's, we're not, we didn't leave town. This is just on the side of the town. What's wrong? Oh, we actually get cutscene cutscene. Something awesome. Feels really strange. First time we've had this in a world. I'm sure I don't know this place, but it's starting to feel like it's familiar to me. You must have come here sometime before. No, and that's what's strange. Dun dun dun. It could be like with Nomine. You forgot lots of other stuff, and that's why you remember this place now. No, it's different. With Nomine, my memories sort of came drifting back to me, a little piece at a time. But not now. It's not memories, just this idea that I must have been here before. So, feeling nostalgic. Oh boy, here we go. Guess who? Sora, a question then for you. Your memories of Namane or your feelings here? Which of the two of these is more real, I wonder? Namane, of course. Whatever it is that I'm feeling, I bet it's just another one of your mean little tricks. <laughs> The memory's wiles can be cruel. In its silence, we forget. In its obsession, it binds our hearts. Cut the riddles! I told you. This place was created solely from another side of your memory. It is on the other side of your heart that the memory of this place exists. It is your heart that remembers. You're wrong! I don't know this place! If you remain bound by the chain of memories, and refuse to believe what is truly found inside your heart, then throw it away. You are not a Keyblade Master, just a slave to twisted memories. Yes, exactly like my Riku. Your existence is worth nothing! Are we going to have to fight him again right now? Like your Riku? 
worth nothing. That's enough! You're the one who changed, Riku! Every word you've said is a lie! I'd never throw away my heart! Oh fuck, are we really gonna have to fight this I'm guy again right now? Down and save Riku I was and not Nominate. prepared for this. That's what's in my heart! Well then, okay. If key to beginnings equals boss fight. Did not expect this. Alright, this is actually pretty cool. I'm down for this. I'm down for this. My deck is still set up for when I fought him last, so maybe it'll be still good. I might be able to add some new stuff in there after I lose for the first time. You know I'm going to lose on the first try. Almost inevitable at this point. Let's see if he's the same. Ow, ow, ow. Alright. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna die. I'll say I'm gonna die a hell of bad because he hit me so much at the beginning there. That's all right. That's all right. I can live with that. I was not prepared for that battle whatsoever. All right, let's uh, add some shit to my deck. Why not? Why not? Let's add some shit. Don't I have a slight where I can use Mushu? By the way, we're almost at an episode. I'm only gonna try this a few more times, I think. Um, I feel like I have a slight that I can use Mushu for. Which one can I use Mushu? No. Mushu, which one are you used for? Uh, Gifted Miracle, what's that? No, that's Bambi. Shock Impact, that's Simba. Quake? That's Simba again. No, not Simba. Teleport? No. Confused? Frog? No, no, no. It's none of these. Magnet Spiral? No. Lethal Frame? No. Tornado Freeze? What's, freeze would not be Mushu. Why would I even look at that? Holy, I already know what that is. Oh, maybe it's just... No, nah, it's gotta be something I can do with it, man. Idle Romp? What the heck? Flare Breath? Two Mushus. You only need two Mushus? So that means two two of any Mushus in a row. Or I can do three Mushus. You know what? I'm gonna put three Mushus in my deck right now because I have three. I know one's low level. I wonder if I can fit all three. See if my CP allows it. I'm gonna do it just for the hell of it. Just see if I can. Hell yeah, we can. Whoa, dude. Triple Mushu on it? This may or may not be a good idea. Anyway, I got I got plans for this guy this time around. Let's see if we can handle this a little bit better. If this doesn't seem to work out, I'll try a couple times, like I said. If it doesn't seem like I'm gonna have a chance, then I'll have to revamp my style here. I may even have to go around and level up a little bit so I can level up my HP like I've been trying to do. I was actually going to on that last level up, but then we got a new slight. I, my plan is to go HP on the next damn level up. I swear it is. I swear it is. Anyway, here we go. Take this. All right, that's fine. I wanted to use that so I can get Boogie's card in there. It's a B-Gen up in this bitch. Ah, uh, don't break me. Don't break me. I'll break you back, bitch. I'll break you back, bitch. Come on, get some. No, ah, oh, you motherfucker. He attacks so fast. Oh, and I missed. Well, that's bad. Nope. Get wrecked. Get some. Get some. Yeah, bitch. You don't have a zero card. Oh, he, oh, he used an elixir. I see how it is. Wait, the elixirs don't heal HP though. They just, they just heal cards. For a second, I was scared that the elixir heals HP. Oh, here comes the flare breath. You guys ready? I'm waiting for an opportunity for this one. Flare breath, bitch. Oh shit! I gotta fire that shit. What? I didn't know I had to fire it. Oh my god. Well, that was lame. Oh my god! He just broke my fucking shit. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? And I just called Goofy. Well, that sucks. Oh my god, I almost died. Holy motherfucking god. Damn it, I didn't get him with that. Why am I not locked onto him? Hey man, as long as we're still alive, I'm happy. He moves a around a lot more than he did when he last fought him. He stayed still a lot more before. Now he's like floating around and shit all the time. You need to cut that out, sir. I'm just glad he doesn't have a lot of zeros. A lot of zeros is annoying. Oh shit! Oh, well, he killed me, so that's good. Nope! Ow! 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 Bitch ass. No zero for you, bitch. Haha! Nope! No zero for you, bitch. All right, let's try the fucking Mushu again this time. Let's not fuck it up. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna cancel this super hard right now. How do I fire? Circle button? X button? X button. Oh, there you go. 
Oh, you just mashed the X button. All right. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's still there. All right. Well, that was fun. Not sure how powerful that really ended up being, but it was fun. Oh, jeez. I need, I need to heal. No! I needed to heal! Ah! I got disoriented, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Mushu thing. All right. Well, it's cool now that I know how to use it. Fuck! I didn't... Mmm! Oh, fuck that. He killed me in one combo. It's bullshit. Oh, my fucking God, dude. Fuck this. Fuck! Fuck that! That's bull fucking hockey, man. Bull hockey. Fucking bullshit! Oh my fucking god, dude. Fuck. Fuck. Are you fucking... You're... F He broke my magic. Oh no, he did. Fucking ass. Donald, heal me, you bastard. Heal me, you ba oh no. Donald, heal me, you bastard. Heal me. No, he didn't heal me. Donald, heal me, you bastard. Heal me, you bastard. There it is. Woo. Woo! Oh my lord, Kumbaya right now. I don't know how I'm still alive, but I'll fucking take it. Oh no, come to butthead, I say. Oh my god, he's got a big ass ice sword? No, thank you. No, thank you. Got him! Yes! Ah! Yes! Thank you. Whew, that took some fucking strats as his eyes did. I probably showed that whole attempt because that was some badassery right there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Awesome. Whew. Boy. Ooh, he got his card. That must mean we're done fighting him forever. That's nice. That's real nice. Wait, do we like beat beat him like he's dead? Oh, by the way, it's finally time for HP. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Not having HP this whole time has been a bad thing. <clears throat> You okay, well, he's not dead yet, but maybe. Even at the mercy of your memory. None of that matters. Just put Riku Just back. Just put him back. <laughs> Just put him back. Yeah. Duh. The Riku you speak of has but one fate to sink into the darkness. Fate into darkness. And you will share that fate, Sora. If you continue to seek the girl Namine, the shackles will tighten. You'll lose your heart. And end up becoming Marluxia's pawn. Marluxia. What does Namine have to do with? Ugh. Oh snap! Well then, Axel's like you've said too much, bitch. Axel. Yo, so. <laughs> what up, Dab? Did I catch you at a bad time? No, but I got it memorized. <laughs> you fool! Axel, why? I came to stop you from talking too much. Do it. By eliminating your existence. Uh oh. No. Don't do it. We are just nobodies who have no one to be, yet we still are. But now you can be nothing instead of just being a nobody. You're off the hook. No. Please don't. Uh oh. I don't want to. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Whoa, just straight up dead. Owned. What are you? 
What are you people? What are you? <laughs> Don't know. I wonder about that myself. Well then. Now we know why Vexen isn't in Kingdom Hearts 2. Spoilers. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, I guess that does it for today's episode then, huh? That was eventful. Holy shit. I am I did not expect this to take as long as it did, by the way. Wait. Oh, this is a conqueror's respite? Really? We're in a conqueror's respite? They give you a free one? Yeah. Whatever, I'll take it. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. I didn't you know, I didn't plan ahead because I don't know what to expect ahead, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, for a second, I thought I got a Mega Elixir. I got excited. Now it's a Mega Ether. Still good. I'm on the low level one, though. Anyway, so that's going to do for this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Um, by the way, how much... Mm, there's still more to this place, right? We're not done, right? Wait. We are done. What? It just occurred to me there's no other gold rooms. The only other room is the treasure room. Son of a bitch. I guess we did do all of Twilight Town in one episode. Here I said at the beginning we're not going to do it all in one episode. And yet, it's so short that it only took one episode. Well then, what the hell lies beyond this? More spoilers for Kingdom Hearts 2? Or are we at the end of the game? We might be at the end of the game. I don't know. I don't know who else we have to throw down with. We have to throw down with Marluxia. We have to throw down again with, with Lux. What was her name? I, I always forget her name. Larxene. We got to throw it on the axle one more time? I mean, all of this remains to be seen. I don't know, and I'm kind of excited to find out. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.